Hi, as some of you may know or may not know, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig. My girlfriend and I, Callie, will be traveling up to Alaska here in a couple months with the trailer that you see behind me. I've had a lot of questions about the trailer recently and so I thought I'd do a little short video running through the trailer, what's in it, what's outside of it, just so people kind of have a better idea. The trailer itself is a 2005. It's made by ATC out of northern Indiana. It's 41 feet long and it's full aluminum including the frame, siding, everything in it is all aluminum which is kind of something we were looking for doing a lot of traveling in the winter. Hopefully it'll hold up a little bit better than just steel. This particular model has a slide out on it as you can see here and then in the rear section it's a garage which we'll go into and I can show you all that stuff here in a minute. If you follow me over here, some features that it has, right here is a fuel station. And so I've actually got a fuel pump and a nozzle with a 30 gallon tank underneath. So when we have snowmobiles or motorcycles, anything like that, we can actually just fuel up this external tank and then we're not carrying around a bunch of fuel jugs with us wherever we go. You follow me into the garage here. So here we are in the garage. Again, this is 14 feet, long enough to fit our snowmobiles, dirt bikes, mountain bikes, that kind of stuff. The floor is nice, it's lined with a rubber material to help protect it. It's also got a couple storage compartments down here for the house batteries so that we don't have to be hooked up to shore power. Up top, we've got some cabinets for extra storage. Inside this one, really nice feature, it has an alarm. So all the doors, gates, anything like that on the trailer can be set so that if someone opens them and the alarm is set, it'll go off. We've also got a handheld device that we can carry with us so if we're not next to the trailer, we can see that the alarm is going off. If you wanna follow me inside, we can go into the living area here and I can show you that. So here we are in the main living quarters. You can kind of see we've got a lot of storage here. Uh, we've got your refrigerator right here, freezer and main refrigerator. Also a three burner cooktop for your stove along with a microwave and convection oven. Just a regular sink there and then more cabinets right there. So we do have quite a bit of storage which is really nice. And then on this other side we have the couch along with you can see two holes in the floor here. This is actually where the table sits. So you can sit on the couch and eat at the same time. Pretty basic, but it does offer us lots of room. It's kind of the living room, kitchen, dining room, all rolled into one package. Pretty convenient. If you wanna follow me through this door right here, we can go into the bathroom and I can show you guys that. All right, so here we are in the bathroom. It's not a huge space, but it'll work for us. We've got a sink right here along with a little bit more storage below it and another cabinet above it. You've got your shower right here, plenty big enough that even I will fit in it. And then on this side, we've got a toilet with a little bit more storage right above the toilet with some more cabinets. Then if you follow me into the bedroom straight through, I can show you that as our last stop on this tour. So that's the bedroom area there. You can see it also has quite a bit of storage in it. And then right here where I am, in between the bedroom and the bathroom, we've got a little bit more storage with a couple cabinets on either side here. Plenty of storage for all Cali stuff. I'm just planning on bringing three t-shirts and a pair of Carhartts. I think I'll just need one cabinet. That concludes the inside tour of the trailer. We'll step back outside, show you the other side of it, and then we'll be done. So now we're back on the opposite side of the trailer that we started on. And you can see that we have a nice awning here that extends down most of the trailer, covers three quarters of the trailer. So on those nice hot sunny days in Moab, we'll be able to throw the awning down, which should be really nice. 
So underneath the front, we've got these three fairly large propane tanks. They're full aluminum also, like the rest of the trailer. And these are big enough that I think we should be able to keep heat going for quite a while in the trailer without needing to refill. We've also got in this storage compartment here an Onan 5500 watt propane generator. And this also starts from inside the trailer on a control panel, so you don't have to come out here and deal with trying to start it. It will start electronically or remotely from inside the trailer. And then we have a little bit of room, a little bit of storage right behind the propane tanks inside here that goes back. Although it's not very convenient because we have a gigantic propane generator sitting there so we can't really get to stuff that easily. We've also got, which is really handy, nice hydraulic jacks on the front here with our remote right here for them. So when you go and put down the jacks, everything just happens by the touch of a button. We can lift it off the truck, pull the truck out, and be set to go with just the truck. Thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions about the truck or trailer or anything that we're doing, please feel free to get a hold of us. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at AdventureRig. You can also email us directly, AdventureRig at gmail.com, or you can find us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, which is AdventureRig. We hope to hear from you soon, and look forward to having you guys join us as we ski and travel around. Have a great day. Thanks.